This simple Windows customization is not rocket science. You can easily get it done as well. And I'm here to show you how. Welcome to this channel. Let's get straight to it. Right click on here and go to taskbar settings. Right here on the search, I'm going to go to the right side here, expand this, select hide. So now as we can see down here that this taskbar is looking more tidy and compact. So we're going to close this. Now we're going to add some transparency effect on this taskbar. Now proceed to Microsoft Store. Now I'm going to search for Translucent TV. There you have it. Click on it. Now proceed to click on install. Wait for it. Click on open. As we can see right here, we have the transparency effect on the taskbar. I'm just going to click on continue. I'm going to X on this. If you want it like this, you can leave it this way. But I'm going to go right here to the settings. I'm going to expand this. As you can see this TB logo, just right click on this. I'm going to desktop and I'm going to go right here to the bottom and select acrylic. Okay. I think I just prefer it to be acrylic other than just being transparent. The next thing I want to do is to change this wallpaper. I already have one wallpaper. Uh, which is this one. I'm going to leave the wallpaper link in the description. Just so right click on it and select set as desktop background. Now if you minimize these, you can see that we have this brand new wallpaper which is looking good. I want to get rid of these icons. Right click on the desktop, go on to view and select show desktop icons. Click on that. On to the next one. Head on to the browser and this time we're going to download Rainmeter. Let's click on this download icon to download it. Once that is done, go on to the setup, launch it, I'm going to minimize this, click on OK, next, install. If you get any notifications, select yes and click on finish. I'm going to remove all the skins, just right click on it, select unload skin. Right click, unload skin, right click, unload skin. I'm going to do the same for everything, right click and unload skin. So now we have Remeter installed. Now proceed to download and install one Remeter skin. Head on back to the browser. We're going to download Monterey. Yes, the good old Monterey. Proceed to the right side here. Scroll down a bit and we're going to click on this latest. Okay, click on that. Now we're going to click on this RM skin right here. Just click on that. Now just proceed to launch the .exe file. Just click on that. I'm going to minimize this. Install it. By default, after installing Remeda, you're going to get this settings. Now we'll proceed to select the desired widget, starting from the first one, which is the clock. Toggle it on right here. I'm going to drag it to the right side. The next one is calendar. I'm going to bring it down here. Monitoring. Drag it to the right side. And we have weather. I'm going to drag it down here. Enable reminders down here as well music and drag it down here and the last one is the volume so i'm going to drag it to the right side here as well now we've selected the desired widget before we go about arranging this widget i'm going to change the size of this widget and i think they are too big so go on to appearance and before that just ensure this is on blur okay and if you're not getting this blur effect on this widget make sure your transparency effect is enabled okay now proceed to widget size i'm going to change this from 75 to 60 okay tap on enter now we have this smaller widget which are looking much better now we're going to proceed to arrange it i'm going to start from the left side i'm going to drag this down a bit as for this calendar i'm going to right click on it and select wide I'll bring it down here a bit you can actually edit this weather and type in your city. To do that, just right click on it, select edit weather. Right here, I'm going to type in your city. For the sake of this video, I'm going to type in New York. Tap on enter. Now proceed to click on save right here. Save it, okay? Now go on to the right side. Now as for this music, I'm just going to make it wide. Right click on it and select wide. Now I'm going to change this volume. To medium okay select medium take it down here reminders I'm gonna make this wide and I'm gonna take this down here I'm gonna centralize this right above the reminders it's gonna position the clock nicely okay I believe that is that about the monterey we can proceed to close the settings by clicking this icon right here 
Let's click on it. Now, if you want to simply gain access to the settings, just right click on any of the widgets and select edit widgets. Then you're going to see the settings pop out. So I'm just going to proceed to close it. So everything is looking good, but we're not done yet. We're going to the next one right here. I'm going to install a top bar to do that. I'm going to head on back to the browser. And this time, I'm going to download Yaps Reborn. Scroll down a bit. Before we download it, we're going to get this requirement, which is JetBrains Mono. Okay. And as we can see down here, it supports Windows 10 and 11. Now proceed to click on this link right here. Now we're going to navigate to the file location. As we can see, we have the zip file. Now we're going to proceed to extract this, highlight on it and select extract all. Click on extract. Ctrl A to highlight on everything. Right click on it and select install. Now it's going to install everything. Just wait for the process. Now that we have all the fonts installed, I'm just going to minimize this. Now we're going to head on back to the browser and now scroll up a bit and select latest. I'm going to scroll down here. Now I'm going to click on this particular link which ends with .msi. Click on that. Again, head on to the file location. Double click on it to launch it. If you get this kind of notification, click on more info then select run anyway. And now first of all, we're going to select the location where we want the files to be directed to. Now we're going to expand this right here. Click on your C directory. Select new to open a new folder. Name it YASB Yaps. Okay. Now highlight on it. Select next. If you get any notification, click on yes. I'm going to wait for all the required files to be directed to the local disk. Okay. So once that is done, I'm going to click on finish. I'm going to expand this PC. Click on Windows C. And here we have this folder we just created. I'm going to open this folder. Scroll down a bit. I'm going to launch this application right here. Double click on it. After installing, you might not get exactly the same as it is up here. So I'm going to show you the procedure of how to get your desired top bar. Okay. Now navigate down here, expand this. Here is the icon right here. Just right click on it and select get themes. Now you're going to have vast majority of themes which you can download and install right here. I'm going to scroll down a bit. I'm going to look for the desired one right here. I'm going to install this Yaps 005. Just navigate to the right side here and click on install click on install. I'm going to X on this. Before we make any changes here, go back right here, expand this, right click on this icon and select enable auto start. By doing that, every time you restart your computer, the Yabs Reborn would open automatically. I'm going to remove some of these icons right here. Let's right click on the top bar. I'm going to select active widgets. Right here, you can just uncheck any one of these that you don't need to appear on the top bar. For this media, I'm just going to check on this media. And the next one, I'm going to go down here to weather because we already have weather down here. Volume, don't want the volume, notification and that is it. Now we have a more tidy looking top bar and this is looking pretty cool. We have some of the computer information right here. Now we have the power button right here at the top. Click on this to cancel it. Now we have the play button and of course the volume right here and the clock here. And just in case you want to get rid of this old setup, I'm going to show you how to uninstall this real quick. This is very easy. Now click on this windows icon, go into your settings, go to apps and go to installed apps. First you want to search for translucent. Now you have translucent TV. Now we get to the right side here. Click on this three dots and select uninstall and select uninstall again. Then follow up with the on-screen instructions to uninstall it. So I'm not going to uninstall it right now. I'm just showing you how this. So you're going to do the same for Rainmeter. Search for Rainmeter. Just going to click on this. Uninstall. Uninstall. Make sure you check on this. So it's going to remove all the add-ons, the skins, and even the registry settings and all that. So once you click on that, just click on uninstall. Okay. And I'm going to X on this because I'm not going to uninstall it. Same with the Yabs Reborn. I'm going to do the same right here. Go into the three dots. Uninstall uninstall and that's it and don't forget to go back to the c folder right here after uninstalling and you can just go into your windows c and delete this folder okay that is all you have to do to get back to the normal setup so that's gonna be all for now guys i hope you find this video helpful leave it a like and also subscribe to this channel turn on the notifications so you get notified when i post content like this have a nice day guys peace out